Hello, good morning and assalamu alaikum to all of my grade 3 students. I'm your teacher Sana Kosar over here again with the new lecture for all of you. So first of all, tell me that how are you all? Okay, I hope that you all are fine. I'm also fine and uh, I think we all are a bit habitual of now this routine of attending the lectures online. So I hope with the passage of time we will be more regular and punctual. So do share your experience if you have any interesting thing or if you want to share anything regarding the study so you can share your ideas or your experience with me in the Google class. So I'm always uh, available over there in the Google class for all of my dear students. Okay, so without wasting the time, let's have a look. Today I have um, uh, a 10 lecture, 10 lecture number 10 with you all. And it is again the word problem. Yes, the word problem itself is a very interesting topic. Most of the time students think that it is a bit tricky. Uh, but no, it's not tricky at all. It's a very interesting topic. Once you understand the strategy or technique of solving this word problem, uh, it will be very easy for you and it will be just like a piece of cake for all of you to just uh, uh, enjoy it. So here I am with the new lecture for all of you. Let's have a look on the first slide of the day. Okay. So, yes. Attack plan for the word problem. Okay, attack plan. Yes, this is a, a very interesting word, a word that I find out and uh, I thought that this is a word that will also boost your confidence. Okay, it will boost your energy that what should be our attack plan to solve our word problem. Okay, let's have a look on the steps of the word problem that we should follow. Read the word problem two times. Yes, I add this word two times for all of you that uh, you should read the word problem two times. It will really help you to understand it. So reading the word problem two or three times is really helpful to solve the word problem. Step number two is understand the word problem. Okay, after reading it, now our second step is to just uh, translate the whole word problem into your mind and it is very helpful because after reading it and, under, and understanding the word problem, you will really understand that what you are going to do in the word problem and what is the situation that they give you. Step number three is think of the plan. Think of the plan is that at this stage you are going to um, finalize okay, what are you are going to do in the given word problem. Step number four is write the number sentence definitely then you will write down your number sentence and data and solutions for the word problem. And the last one is check your answers. Yes, sometimes a small silly mistake can create a problem. Like in my previous lecture, I just uh, swap the two numbers and then you guys, uh, uh, I'm sure that you guys had fixed it. Uh, they are because in the on the workbook page number 34 uh, they the numbers are a bit different from the numbers that are mentioned in the workbook so i send you the note as well that solve the that question according to the numbers that are mentioned in the workbook okay so review of the bar model yes this is something that i already explained you but re re review is the word that i use that you guys just uh, understand it again because today's lecture is all, also all about the bar model. And this bar model technique is very easy. Once you learn or understand this technique of addition and subtraction, then bar model itself is a big help for you to decide that whether you need to add or whether you need to subtract. Okay, for addition. Whenever the two numbers are given and you are going to find out the value of the whole block. So what you're going to do in that word problem, you're going to add. Yes, for a day subtraction, whenever the two values are given, but small, small value that you are going to find out or that you need to find out, then what you are going to do in that word problem, you're going to Subtract in this word problem. Yes, this, these are the two rules that you should keep in your mind while solving the word problem. And don't do this mistake. Uh, don't forget it. And don't do the mistake of swapping them with each other. Look at the given lines very carefully. Whole value you need to find out, add. Small value you need to find out, subtract. 
So with this help of bar model, the questions become very easy for all of you. Let's have a look. So students, are you ready? Okay, I just want all of my grade three students to be happy like this and they just um, uh, you, uh, reinforce the bar model concept and the attack plan of the word problem. So I'm sure that the upcoming problems, word problems are very easy for you and it's going to be very easy for you. Okay, yes. Today, the word problems are a bit different from the previous one. And you can say that this is the another step of the word problem. In the previous questions or in the previous lecture, you guys were solving the word problem in one month step. But today, you guys will learn that how to solve the two steps word problems. It means two steps means you are going to do two uh, questions into a two steps or in which you are uh, are going to solve two two workings will be required for this two steps word problem and they are very easy they are just like the simple word problems but in this two steps word problem you are going to solve it into a two sections first you will solve one and then you will solve the other one let's read it and i'm sure it will be a bit more the more clear for you after reading it and after solving this word problem with you okay let me get my pen first yes Let's have a look. A baker made 2,750 chocolate cookies and 1,638 vanilla cookies. Okay, they just tell you that the baker baked two different kinds of cookies. One is 2,750 chocolate cookies and other one are vanillas. The values are given. So what you're going to do, just underline the values for yourself. Okay. He sold 3,195 cookies altogether. Actually, these, this number is given that these cookies are sold out. First step, number A step is that how many cookies did the baker make altogether? Okay, just look at the bar model. What we are going to do in this word problem? Yes, we are going to add. But be very careful. They were talking about how many cookies did the baker bake? So you are going to add the value of chocolate cookies and vanilla cookies, not the sold cookies. So once you add it, you got this answer that is 4,388. So our next step is for step B, you are going to read the B part. How many cookies did the baker have left? Okay, they tell you got the number of total cookies that he baked and you have also the number of the sold cookies. So now they're asking you how many cookies are still left. So what you're going to do, look at this bar model. This bar model is very easy. It easily tell us what we are going to do in it. We just need to find out the value of this small piece. So we will subtract okay then when we subtract we got this answer that is 1193 that's our answer and you simply solved that the baker had 1193 cookies left so see this word problem is very easy one thing that you should keep in your mind that in two steps word problem we always use the answer of a in B. Like you need the answer of A to solve the step B. This is the basic thing that you need to keep in your mind that in two steps word problem, the answer of step A is going to you. We are going to use in the B part. That's why they are interconnected each other. They are related with each other. And this value answer is very important because this answer value depend on your Second answer too. If you did a mistake in it, then your part B answer will also go wrong. So that's why two steps word problems are uh, you should do it cautiously. And I just want you all to do your working very carefully. That's very important. Let's have a look. Okay, yes. Now, my students, take out your workbook, page number 35. Yes. Now, take out. And let's do this work. 
together. Now you're going to do your classwork with me after understanding this two-step word problem example. Now we will use the same strategy for our workbook. Okay, let's start it. First rule is read the word problem very carefully. Okay, let's start it. Raju has rupees 409. Read the number very carefully and you can even underline it. Raju is a boy who has rupees 409. Sam has rupees 146 more than Raju. After reading these two lines, what do you understand? You understand that Raju is a boy who has some amount of money. Sam is another boy whose amount is more than Raju. It means that the Raju amount is less and Ra the Raju amount is less than Sam. Let's read our first step question. How many money does Sam have? Actually, you guys don't know that how much amount the Sam have. They just tell you that he has 146 more than Raju. So what you're going to do by looking at the bar model, what do you think students, what we are going to do? We know the value of this part and we know the value of this. And in this question, this big, big, big question, what it tell us, what we are going to do in this word problem? Anyone? Yes, this bar model actually solve our whole, uh, you can say that confusion and you guys can simply uh, reply me that what we are going to do, we are going to add in this word problem. Yes. Now on the corner of the book, just write down the two numbers. That is 4, 409 and the next is 146. So put your plus sign over here and let's add it. Okay, don't laugh on my handwriting. My mouse is very, very, you know, difficult to write with the mouse. 9 plus 6. What will be the answer? The answer is 15. So I will write down 5 over here and 1 will be the carry on. Yes. Okay. Now 4 plus 1. What will be the answer? That is 5. Yes. And 4 plus 1 again. What will be the answer? The answer is again 5. Okay. Our answer is triple 5 or you will read it in a number that is 555. Yes. Write it with me. All of you, you should do this work with me. Working to you. Now, same number you will copy over here and you will write down over here where I am pointing out. So, write it by yourself. Let's read the part B, the step 2 for this word problem. How many money do Raju and Sam have all together? Okay, all together is the word that we always use for addition. So, I told you that in two steps word problem, we always use the uh, answer of A step in B. So this is the amount of Raju and what, how much money Sam have? Sam have 555 rupees. When you mention the Sam amount and, and when you look at the bar model, what we are going to do in this word problem, we are going to Add, yes. So now write down your number. 409 plus, and then you will write down 555. Okay, yes. Now you will do your rough work over here and you will add both the number by yourself. And I am just doing it directly for all of you. That is 4 and 5 makes 14. So I will just write 4 and 1 will be carry on. 5 and 0 make 5. 1 is carry on. That is 6. And the last answer is 4 and 5 makes 9. Yes, that's the answer. That's very easy. So now you are going to write down the same answer over here. That Sam and Raju have rupees 964. Yes. Easy. This word problem. This word problem is very interesting. There is a no difficult step in it. Just you understand that in the two steps word problem, you are going to solve one step, and then the answer will use in the second step. Yes.
Okay, now let's have a look on our next word problem. Okay, now my students, uh, take out your workbook page number 36. This is also a two-step word problem. And for this lecture, I just uh, decided to solve only three questions for you all. Because uh, they are not very much lengthy and difficult, but I want you all to understand it very much carefully. So let's have a look on our workbook, page number 36, and questions. Let's read the question. And read a 300-page book. Okay, she's a girl and she read a book uh, which has pages of 300. She read 127 pages on Monday. Okay, and finish the book on Tuesday. Okay, basically they tell us that on Monday she read 127 pages and we don't know that how many pages she read on Tuesday. Our first question is, how many pages did Anne read on Tuesday? Okay, that's our first question. So let's have a look on the bar model. Okay, two values are given and we are going to find out the value of only this P. So what do you think students? What we are going to do, what we are going to do in this word problem? We are going to subtract, but you can easily see that how much total book pages she has read. So you will write down the total number of the book pages over here with me, write down 300. And how much she read on Monday? That is 127. Yes, now you fill it. Don't swap the numbers that this is not possible that you write down 127 over here and 300 over here, no because total book pages are 300. So you will mention the total number on the top and the pieces, one piece that she read on Monday. So that is 127. So now let's do the rough work. What we are going to do in it, we are going to subtract. So this subtraction is very interesting, I'm sure. And do you remember the subtraction song? Okay, let's sing a subtraction song. It's more on the top, no. It's more on the floor, yes. Go next door. Oh, our next door is again empty. So what we are going to do, we are going to take one more jump, one more jump and we will take the help from our, this neighbor. It gave it 10 and now our, this number also need the help. So you will cut the 10 and you will turn it into a nine. And this will turn into 10. Now 10 minus 7. What will be the answer? The answer is 3. Yes. And 9 minus 2. The answer is 7. 2 minus 1. The answer is 1. Okay. So first of all, write down your number sentence. 300 minus 127. Please don't laugh on my numbers. I'm writing with the mouse. And what the answer I got? That is 173. Yes. That's the answer that you are going to write down in the last statement that she gave you. And read 173 pages on Tuesday. So after solving the first step, now let's read the second step. How many more pages did she read on Tuesday than on Monday? Okay, don't get confused for in this uh, statement because actually they are not asking you about the Tuesday pages. They are not asking you, they already tell you the pages that she read on Monday. The question is, how much more pages she read on Tuesday. So basically you are going to find out the difference between these two pages. So let's have a look. Okay, this bar model is already given and by just looking at this bar model, I easily get the idea that I need to find out only this piece. 
So what I am going to do, I am going to subtract, but fill these two numbers very carefully. First of all, you will write down Monday in this box. I'm just mentioning M-O-N, so you can write down even the complete spelling. And for the second box, I am write down, you will write down Tuesday. I am just mentioning T-U-E, okay, because of the my mouse. Okay, how much page, pages she read on Monday? That were 127. You will copy the value. And how much pages she read on Tuesday? The answer that we find out. Let's have a look on the previous. What was the answer? That is 173. So same answer you will write down over here. That is 173. Yes, write down the numbers. And now you have a working that you need to do. Write down always the bigger number on the top, which is the more, 127 or 173. Let me just write down the seven perfectly, bit clear. So you will write down 173 on the top. 127 over here and now what you are going to do you are going to subtract yes so it's more on the top no it's more on the floor so what you are going to do you are going to next door okay 13 minus 7 so what will be the answer answer is 6 6 minus 2 the answer is 4 and 1 minus 1, the answer is 0. So now write down your numbers and tens. It's totally up to you whether you can write it at first. 173 minus 127. This is what we did. And what is the answer that we got? That is only 46. Yes. And read. You will say 46 more pages on Tuesday than on Monday. This is the difference of the pages. That in which page, how many pages you read more. Okay. Brain right now. Okay, I add this slide just for fun that I'm sure after solving these two word problems, my students start understanding that how to solve the two-step word problem and your mind also start working. And I just hope so that you enjoyed it also. Only one word problem is left with me. And then you can, uh, you can enjoy your uh, activity. Or you can say that a small fun game that I plan for you in this lecture. Okay, now my students, last word problem of the day. That is on workbook page number 37. So take out your workbook page number 37. Be happy that Ma'am Sana just plan only three word problems for all of you and even no big RA, no written RA I mentioned for all of you. Just for a practice that I mentioned, I want you all to do the practice. So without wasting the time, let's read our word problem number three. That is, stall A prepares, look at the value, it's in four digits. So read the numbers very carefully. 2,200 packets of biryani a day. Okay, they're just, it's, uh, I think they're just telling us about the um, deliveries of the biryani and the biryani stall is there. So it packs 2,200 packets of biryani in a day. Mm, too much amount of biryani. Next is stall B prepares 480. Look at the number very carefully. It's in 100 and the upper value was in 1,000. 480. Fewer packets of biryani than stall A. Okay. Fewer is the word that you can also use for the less. It, it shows us that it prepared that much less packets of biryani. Our first step is how many packets of biryani does stall B prepare a day? Okay. They, don't, they didn't tell us the value of the stall B packets of biryani. So we are going to find it out by using two values. Let's have a look. Our first job is to observe the bar model. Okay. 
this value is given this value is given and we need to find out this piece so i'm sure that you guys get the idea as well and uh, let's start writing it stall a i am just uh, writing it with them, my mouse so it's that you know writing is not good and the other value is for stall b so write down the first of all the place name of the places that is stall b okay stall a value is given so you are going to write down the bigger value over here that is 2200 yes and the other value is given in the fewer form that is 480 so let's may write our number sentence first that is 2200 minus yes the bar model tell us simply no confusion at all okay now let's do our rough work. Yes, the placement of the numbers are very important that you are not going to mention four over here and then eight and zero. Your question will go wrong. So I told you how to place the digits and let's subtract it. Zero minus zero, both the numbers are same. The answer is zero. Okay, it's more on the top or it's more on the floor? It's more on the Floor. So we are going to the next door and it turns into a 10. 10 minus 8. The answer is 2. Okay. It's more on the top or it's more on the floor. It's more on the floor. So we need to go to the next door again and it turns into 11. Okay. 11 minus 4. The answer is 7. Yes and one one will come as it is because there is a no number over here to subtract so our answer is 1720 yeah so you will copy the same number over here as well stall b prepare 1720 packets of biryani in a day so after solving the step number one, now you will, can read the part B and understand it what they are asking you. How many packets of biryani do the two stalls prepare all together? Okay, all together is the word that already had tell us that what to do and look at the bar model too. Okay, yes, the bar model is very easy. They just tell us that this is the total value given for both of us and we need to find the value of both so what we are going to do in it we are going to add so first of all write down your data that is stall a so i am just writing only a and for the next please write down the full stall b but i am just mentioning b Okay, let me just write it down because might be some of my students skip it. That is tall B. Let me write it because might be some students skip it just like me. Okay, what was the value of the stall A package? That was 200, 2000, sorry, that was 2000, 2200 and the value. And the other one was, you can copy it, that is, that's the answer. That's the answer that you're going to do. That is 100, 1720. So you will write down the same value over here. That is 1720. So all together is the word that all also help us. Now write down your number sentence. 2220 plus 1720. Now you are going to add this number, put the number over here. I leave this blank over here because I want you to write down and fill the number with me. That is zero. Do your working too. I told you that always prefer to write the number from the back side. It helps you. Zero and zero makes zero. 
Okay, this is plus. We are not going to sing any song. 0 plus 2 makes 2. 7 and 2 makes 9. And 2 and 1 makes 3. Yes. So what is the answer that we got over here? That is 3,922. Okay, they are selling a lot of biryani in each day. That's good. So you will copy the same number over here too. Okay, that's almost all for the fun. And now just for the fun. Now what you can do my students, you can just close your books and you can just put them on a side. And let's have a quick answer game with me. So I planned this activity just for fun. Okay, this is called quick answer game. Quick answer game is something that I will ask you a question and you just try to reply me as soon as possible and you can even play the same game with your mom as well and you can practice this kind of a games with your uh, friends and uh, you with your mother or with your siblings as well so let's have a look you have rupees 50 for example and your brother have rupees 100 so my question of the day is how much more money your brother have okay who can tell me you have 50 and your brother have 100. I just want the answer that how much more money your brother have. So what you're going to do, you're going to subtract. And what will be the answer? 100 minus 50, what will be the answer? The answer will be 50. Yes, it's just for fun, okay? You're not going supposed to do the work on anywhere. This is just for fun. Next is, your friend have 10 candies and you have six candies how many fewer candies you have okay this is just a, an example that i picked up from the daily routine that uh, might be sometimes you have more candies or more stuff and your friend have less so how much less candies you have okay what will be the answer 10 minus 6 yes the answer is 4 quickly i just pick up the uh, simple number for you all to understand it and quickly reply me. I'm not giving you big, big numbers like thousands and hundreds to solve. This is a very interesting word problem. Okay, you are in a school canteen. I just want to, to revive that memory that when you all like to visit to the school canteen. And you have 100 rupees. Okay, suppose your mom give you 100 rupees for lunch. You are going to buy a chips of rupees 50 and juice of rupees 30. What will be the total cost of your item? Okay, first of tell me what will be your bill? How much amount you need to pay? Okay, what you're going to do? Tell me 50 plus 30. What will be the answer? The answer will be 80. Yes, 80 will be the value of your item and how much change you will get. Okay, your bill is 80 rupees and you now paid 100 rupees the canteen uncle and what will be the amount you will get from the uncle what will be your change 100 minus 80 what will be your answer your answer will be 20 rupees see you solve two step word problem in this uh, question first of all you add the amount of both your uh, items chips and juice so this is step number one and then how much change you will get this is the step number two. Yes. So I'm sure that you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, word problems. They are very easy and uh, I'm sure that you enjoyed it. That's all for the week. Okay. I'm sure that you all must be happy like that. I want you all to do the practice of word problem from verb book page number 31 till 37. Whenever you get the time, just try to practice it even you can ask your mom to give you random numbers and you can do the practice of word problems from our daily routine too even you're going to the uh, any shop and you're buying some stuff so first of all add the values that what will be your bill and then how much change you will get so this will also help you a lot uh, help you a lot okay that's all for the week take care all of you bye bye